What's up, Sagittarius? It's West Coast Tarot with your September love general reading. This is for my lovely Sagittarius sun, moon, rising, and Venus. This is a general love reading and may not resonate with every Sagittarius out there. But if you like my style and I vibed with you, please like and subscribe to catch future West Coast Tarot videos. Also, if you want to purchase a personal reading with me or want to know about any of the tarot decks that I use, I always list that information down below in the description box, as well as how to contact me for business inquiries. And guys, this is a general, so as always, in a general, roles can be reversed, energies can be reversed, and cross watchers, this very well may play out from your perspective. So just apply it where it fits. If it's not for you, it's not for you. Spirit, please bring forth the current energies and love for Sagittarius. Tell me about Sagittarius for the month of September in regards to love. Hmm. Regret and divine timing. So some of you might be regretting something, regretting a decision, regretting a person, regretting a choice. Um, you know, this is something that there's a lot of remorse here, okay? Um, some of you could have family or maybe were connecting with a person who had family. Um, maybe there is a person that you are wanting to come to union with, but it's all about divine timing because you have you have a family or they have a family. Okay. But there's this lingering resentment or remorse here, uh, regretting something. Well, the divine timing, it's all about coming together when it's the universe's time, when it's source's time. You know, sometimes we don't always understand how things come together, how things work out. And we are not supposed to, as humans, you know, we are only mere mortals. So it's not for us to worry about the exact time. It's for us to worry about the journey and how do we get there? What do we want? Um, you know, how can we grow in the meantime? Okay. So Spirit, please tell me about Sagittarius. In love for the month of September. I already shuffled, but I'm going to get some energy flowing again in these cards. Tell me about Sagittarius, please. In love for the month of September, please. Okay, we have the High Priestess, Eight of Swords, Strength in Reverse, Temperance, there's that divine timing, Queen of Cups in Reverse, Nine of Pentacles in Reverse, Eight of Wands, Ten of Cups, Six of Pentacles, Will of Fortune in Reverse, Seven of Swords in Reverse, King of Wands, Reverse, the Sun, King of Swords, and the Emperor in Reverse. Oh my goodness. Okay. Okay, Saggy. So I feel like with the High Priestess here, this is Pisces energy, but I feel like really right now you guys are relying on your intuition. You're really relying on your inner voice. You want to... Tr you want to know the truth. You know, you, you want to know the truth, but I feel like you don't have it. I feel like there's a lot going on behind the scenes here. I definitely feel like at this moment in time, you feel mentally stuck. You feel imprisoned. Um, there might be some self-victimization going on. But with this card, this is definitely mental entrapment. This is you overthinking things and definitely being in your head because you don't see that there is a way out. And there is a way out. You just don't see it. You don't see what's the next step in life. You don't see how to get out of your head. How can you stop thinking about this person? With the strength in reverse, this is Leo energy. I feel like you guys are doubting yourself. You're feeling weak at this moment in time. Some of you are facing insecurities, you know, thinking, what could I have done differently? What else could I have done? Was it me? Was it them? What did I not have to offer? I definitely don't think that's a place to be because you guys are enough. You are always enough. Okay. It's just people always have to face other issues in their life. 
that might be externally to you. And sometimes they have to face those issues in order for people to come into union on divine timing, okay? So let's clarify this a little bit further. Spirit, why is the Eight of Swords here, please? Yeah, see, I definitely feel like there's someone who you guys are detached from. Someone who you guys are detached from. This person could be of air, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. But I feel like there's this is someone that you may have shared a lot of good times with or have happy memories of. But I feel like they have moved forward. Okay, they have become independent of you. And I definitely feel that they could have, in a sense, cut you off, um, stop communication with you, but very callously. Like, I feel like it could have been very, very abrupt, very cruel, very cold. I feel like it wasn't done compassionately. Okay, and that's why I feel like you guys are just really wanting the truth. Like, why did this happen? Why did you leave me? Why did you do this? Okay, and I feel like you guys are trying to do the best that you can. This is your energy here. I feel like you're trying to balance things out. You're trying to make sense of everything. Um, I feel like you have been patient, but you're coming into realization that this person may not ever be available to you because they could have someone that is dependent upon them. Okay, they could have someone who, you know, could be manipulation energy as well. So if you guys are connecting with an Aries, I would watch that video because I did get kind of the same energy here, okay? And with the Queen of Cups, this is someone who's a martyr, okay? This is someone who is putting their happiness on the back burner, okay? Not going after what they want. This can be someone facing their insecurity. So I feel like at this moment in time, you guys are really facing some insecurities. And again, I really want to emphasize it has nothing to do with you and always believe that you are enough. Okay. When something goes wrong, when someone, you know, pulls back from you, sometimes it's their own insecurities. Sometimes it's their own demons. And I definitely feel like at this moment in time, you guys aren't feeling at your best. Okay. Um, you know, some of you could be having, you know, credit card debt or some, a lot of bills. Um, you know, just trying to put on a brave face. Even some of you could be really trying to frank, to fake a front or putting on a smile when deep down inside you feel like crying, you know, it's like, like even with lipstick, it's not going to fix it. You know, I don't know if you guys have heard that Dan and Shay song lipstick. I love that song. And it's like, that's exactly what it is. Like, even though she's putting on her lipstick, she knows it ain't going to fix it. And I feel like that's exactly what's going on right now. Okay. Spirit, why is this Queen of Cups here, please? Ooh, put this back. Yeah, see, I feel like you guys do have love for someone, and you would be compassionate towards them. I definitely feel like you know how you feel about this person. There's definitely an intuitive connection here, a very psychic connection. And I feel like you're trying to remain calm. But deep down inside... you know, you're melting, you're regretting, you're regretting the choices that you have made with this person. Okay. With this person, I feel like there definitely could be some, for some of you, this person could want to reach out to you and maybe tell you that with you, they are happy. With you, they are fulfilled. You know, with you, they want everything. They want to balance something out with you. Okay, that's for some of you. I feel like you might be receiving a message that this person wants to come back towards you. For others of you, I feel like this person may have left you for another situation. It could have been with an ex energy or a family. They went back to go make things right. Okay, I feel like this person might be giving to another situation. Why is the Eight of Wands here, please? Yeah, see... It could be they may have went back to um, someone that they had children with, okay, someone that they were involved with in a, a previous commitment, okay. And why is the Ten of Cups here, please? Yeah, this was someone that may have released them before. The devil is also Capricorn energy. So I definitely feel that It 
it's like twofold here. I feel like some of half of these people may have went back to a previous situation that they had released, but they went back to go make things right. The other half, I feel like they are releasing the situation and I feel like they will be coming forward to you to tell you how they feel about you and to tell you that they want growth with you. Okay. Externally to you, we have the wheel of fortune in reverse. So someone, and I really feel like it's this person feels like luck is not on their side. I definitely feel like um, they feel like they have no control of something and there could be someone around them that's trying to control everything. Why is the wheel here, please? Ooh, okay. So we have six of wands in reverse. So yeah, there could be another situation that they are connected to, connected with, um, that's really just been a failure in their life. And I definitely feel that... Um, it's like almost like a sense of punishment. Like someone could be meddling with their life, trying to punish them is what I see here. Obstacles, you have seven of swords in reverse. So I feel like this person has deceived you in the past. Okay, I definitely feel like this person has been very deceptive, has hid things from you. They may have just kind of ghosted you or left you without any answers. Like I said, very callous, uh, callously cold, very rude, okay? But this person might be trying to come towards you to speak their mind or trying to come clean with you. And I don't really feel like you're going to want to hear what they have to say. How they feel about you, we have the King of Wands in reverse. So this is very interesting. This is very um, detached energy. Um, it could be that maybe they feel that you will have very high expectations in regards to them, but I'm also getting a very detached energy. So I feel like after this person may have went back to another situation or may have left you, you guys completely withdrew yourself from them as well. And so now, you know, maybe you guys played the game just as well. So it's like, if you want to leave me like that, well, I'm not going to come and chase after you. So I definitely feel like this person is feeling that you're detached. How does this person please feel about the Sagittarius? Yeah, I also feel like this person's mourning you. I feel like this person's grieving you and they feel they feel the loss of you in their in their heart and their life all around them. They know they feel the loss, they grieve it, and I feel like this person's regretting their decision. Okay. But I feel like going forward, Sagittarius, I definitely feel that you're starting to focus on on your happiness. You're starting to see the light, okay? I feel like you're starting to use your head over your heart. And I feel like going forward, um, you're going to start to be more critical or analytical of people that you let in your life, that people you let in your heart, okay? With the sun here, you're going to choose your happiness. And I also feel, though, you're not going to let people be in and out of your life, okay? I definitely feel that you're only going to let people come towards you if they're balanced, okay? I definitely feel that there's someone you're starting to see the light about and you see that you don't want this person. This person's cold. This person has showed their true colors. And I definitely feel like you don't want them, okay? And I also have Aries and Leo energy again. Why is the Emperor here, please? Yeah, I feel like you know that there was a situation that was very unfair, very unbalanced. And I feel like at this moment in time, you're cutting it out, okay? You are not going to stand for any mistreatment. You're, you're now going to stand up for yourself, okay? One more for Sagittarius, please. Tell me about Sagittarius. Guide. Yeah, see, you guys are being guided now. You guys see the light. And I feel like that's why the sun's here. You guys are now going to go back on the right path that you need to be. And I feel like, unfortunately, this situation has guided you back. Okay. You now see the light. You now know the truth about this person. Spirit, please tell me about Sagittarius in regards to love, in regards to life. We have balance. You may find it difficult to maintain emotional balance because someone or something in your life is creating obstacles, a need for change, realignment. Yes, so you guys are 
getting your life back where to need where it needs to be you know just floating down the river you now see the light you're realigning your life okay and you know that someone has just been creating obstacles for you someone has been sucking your life force from you and isolation now is not the time to deliberately isolate yourself from others on the contrary it is a time to increase your social life because it creates greater opportunity and more choices <laughs> And you guys want choices. You want that seven of cups energy, okay? So get out there, go out with your friends, put on some lipstick, put on some cologne, and get out with your friends and go get your choices, okay? Go get those options that you guys can have. Don't have a pity party, okay? Tell me about Sagittarius, please, for the month of September. Yep, stay optimistic about your love life. I feel like things are going to start to improve, um, maybe towards the springtime. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Just because you guys may have encountered one person that did you dirty doesn't mean everyone's like that. And don't, you know, don't put down love. Don't shut it out of your life because of an experience. You know, you get out there and get your options. Because you guys have a new love coming your way once you let this one go. And I definitely feel, and this one will be worth waiting for. Yeah. So maybe get that lipstick on. <laughs> put a little black dress on too. <laughs> and get out there and put yourself out there. Get out with your friends because I feel like you're going to meet someone. Don't sit around and regret. Focus on your family. Focus, focus on your loved ones. And with divine timing, you guys got new love coming in, okay? So Sagittarius, I'm going to leave it here. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you liked. Um, oh, no, 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 no. I'm not leaving it here because I didn't pull an angel card for you guys. Like I got all excited. I'm like, it's Friday. I got to get out of here. <laughs> Spirit, what is the message for Sagittarius, please? It says, listen with your heart. You're listening to what is being said to you, but you need to listen with a loving heart. So yeah, I feel like you guys need to listen. Really get back to the things that you love. Really start to focus on the people around you. Um, you know, there's no reason to sit and dwell on something that's negative or not serving you. It's time to listen to your heart to what you truly want going forward. And then we have receive with love and appreciation. So receiving something lovingly from others is a way of showing love. So even if it's something very little and someone takes time to do something for you, receive it with love, okay? Receive it with love um, because it's the thought behind it. It's just the, the fact that someone would think of you and try to do something very significant for you is very meaningful. So even if it's small, maybe not exactly what you want to just be, very gracious, very classy, very ladylike, and just tell them thank you, okay? I said ladylike, and we have men in the crowd, so I'm just kidding. Um, but yeah, I'm going to leave it here, you guys. I wish you love and light. I hope you have an amazing September. I will catch you guys on the rest of your videos. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and if you want a personal reading, all that information, again, is down below. Take care.